Hey, 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 it's Coach Josh, and today is our first episode of Grit Fit, and uh, we're, today we're talking about kind of the reason why we exist and why we're here. Uh, what is my genetic potential, and how do I achieve it? And, you know, uh, in that big conversation, we'll also unpack how to un, uh, un, uh, unwind or unlearn uh, some of the limitations that we've learned about ourselves or we perceive about ourselves over our, the period of our lives. So first of all, like what is our genetic potential? Uh, it's such a great question. And uh, there's a great book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he tells a story about, well, he tells a few stories in that book, but uh, one of the stories he talks about is, is about himself and how he overcame an injury to continue to be a, a baseball athlete in high school and in college. And he, by following some basic principles of rest and recovery and training, he was able to continue his athletic career and, uh, and fulfill his potential and, and, and achieve some um, pretty stellar results for a, a collegiate athlete. And, uh, and he said, he used the term specifically fulfill his potential. I'm gonna come back to that because We'll talk about what that really means. Um, but when it comes to our genetics, um, we it's very difficult to figure out what our potential is. I mean, there, you know, you can determine height and you can determine some um, sort of baseline characteristics like eye color and hair color from your genetics, but you can't tell uh, much more than that. Like genes can talk about our propensity for different risks of disease, but the expression of our genes or what happens or how they how they deliver uh, the changes in our body that happens because of a combination of our genetics and our behavior so how we behave the choices that we make over time uh, add up to our our potential and like the difference between what your genetics say and how they're expressed is a study in the field study called epigenetics which is super cool and uh, it, I, it's worth looking into if you're a nerd like I am, um, and we'll talk more about that definitely in the future. But for now, uh, the things that the decisions you make are mostly what your um, what your potential uh, is going to be decided by. And there's a term in science called uh, in biology called specific adaptation to imposed demand or the said principle. So the kind of stress that you're under dictates the kind of adaptation that you create. And adaptation could be more muscle could be, uh, you know, a lower body weight. It could be uh, a metabolic disease, and it could be um, all sorts of things. But the 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 reason why that principle is important is because we have we we're constantly imposing stresses upon our body, and we're doing it consciously through our, our or unconsciously through. Uh, the way that our environment's set up, the foods that we eat, the exercise that we do or don't get, those, those are the stresses that our body is adapting to. And uh, the process of changing those is uh, where, where habits come in and, and choice. So the, the conversation about what my genetic potential is as well has a lot to do with, um, has less to do with what genes you were born with and more to do with what choices that you've been able to visualize that bring out the changes that you're looking for. And there are thousands of choices that impact our health. And there are, you know, millions of combinations of interventions between weight training and, and uh, nutrition and supplements and sleep and meditation. And uh, there's, I, I literally can't list that we'll, we'll do a good job or as best we can at GritFit of cataloging uh, choices that improve your health and then, and then helping in, to teach these things. But the reality is, is there's more uh, options than you can ever take advantage of in terms of the, the stresses to impose to create the demand. The deal is, is can you start to habitualize benefits that stack and create the outcome that you're looking for? So. Um, to go back to that uh, book by James Clear, he also talks about the English cycling team and how terrible they were and then how great they became over the course of a few years. And they uh, had a coach who believed in these, you know, the, the principle of, uh, of habits and
make small changes to yield, yield large results over time. And uh, it implemented things like, um, you know, cleaning the, you know, cleaning the bikes, cleaning the van, like removing static electricity, improving the, uh, the, the, the consistency of the training and the recovery. And, and pretty soon all these little 1% changes added up to dramatic results over a long period of time. And your body is very much like that. Your body is very much like the, 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 the changes that you put together over time will create your, your long-term health. And I haven't reached my potential yet. I haven't integrated um, you know, anything close to the amount of changes in habits and, and uh, interventions that I'd like to. And that's okay. With a long view and a, and a, and a process um, and, and having some sort of a process uh, where you define what you're trying to uh, impose on yourself, and giving yourself time to integrate these habits, focusing on one habit at a time over a long period of time, those you know changes become dozens of changes, become potentially hundreds of changes, which add up to, to really dramatic results. So what your body's capable of, you don't know, because you haven't put yourself in the environment where health was a, a, a systemic priority over a long, long period of time. And I know that because most people aren't Olympic level athletes where they're, everything they do is geared towards improving their physical and mental output. Um, some people are, and then I applaud everybody who um, has a process and, and habits that make them healthy and happy. But we're gonna add to that over the coming months, we're going to work one day at a time, one habit at a time at slowly improving our uh, our, our output, slowly improving our, um, our habits and then in such a day, they stack. So it's not about um, finding the uh, most effective, most dramatic change. It's actually about, you know, adjusting something that, that affects everything after that, uh, everything after that choice will be affected. So instead of changing, instead of getting on a diet where you're gonna go keto, just changing the way you eat food. Um, in terms of how fast you eat or uh, what physi physiological sensations are you looking for or, um, you know, how are your, you know, whether or not you're sitting down. And every time you make an adjustment on how you eat, it affects every meal for the rest of your life. So the goal is to, is to have these low, low demand, but high leverage uh, uh, habits to focus on and execute. And then once that becomes the way that you do it, you change the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. So, so the uh, question, how do I reframe your mind? How do you reframe your mind uh, to what your genetic potential is? Start to think about who you are and what you do from a health perspective in terms of the thousands of choices that you make um, every year and for, that you will make for the rest of your life and what, how much of that you're carving out intention. And if you're like me, you might have five or six or a dozen habits that are, that are healthy, or maybe if you've been at it a long time, maybe you have 50. But as you start to uh, you know, work on yourself and work on your own process, those numbers grow, and so do the results, and so does your health and happiness. And so that's the sustainable approach to change, which changes your epigenetics, which changes your potential, which changes what is happening, what your body looks and feels like right now, which is the work that we're here to do at CrisFit. Booyah. All right, so to bring it back to the beginning, unlocking your potential. We're gonna do it one choice, one habit at a time. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna dial down the stress, dial up the results, and we're gonna to continue to do everything we can to be all that we can be and have fun while we do it. So let's let's have some fun, my gritty friends. And I hope your Monday is off to a great start. Look forward to talking to each and every one of you very soon. Peace.